right. Let's do an ice bath. bit of a headache today. This is not helping. <laughs> I started to feel it when I was working out. It kind of went away in the steam room, <clears throat> but once I hot, got in this water, it's just a little bit. <clears throat> it's really warm outside today. I think it's like 70 right now. Yesterday we got, I think, up to the 84. 84. really beautiful 72 is the perfect temperature I believe it's not too hot not too cold wanted to report last week when I got the temperature down to 45 and stayed in for 15 minutes two of my fingers were numb um, going into uh, Friday morning I could tell when I was shampooing my hair using my fingers and um, yeah so I thought about doing this without putting with taking my hands out letting my hands like sit on the edge there um, but the temperature today of the water is 50 degrees I only use one bag of ice so I think I'll be okay and I don't know if I'm gonna stay in 15 minutes the 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 minimum is a uh, 10 minutes uh, yeah so the Sun feels really good on my face my daughter would be proud of me I re remembered to put the SPF cream on my face so I won't get sunburned and I also re remembered to put on my sunglasses so uh, and these are bifocals, so I can I can look at the uh, the time and see it very clearly. This this fucking ice bath number six is dedicated to Brent Dorshkin. <laughs> yes, Mr. Brent. So every week I'm going to dedicate my uh, pain and suffering uh, to somebody. And uh, last week was Paulina. And this week, uh, Brent came up. So Brent's somebody um, just celebrated his 59th birthday. I've known him for over 20 years. He has been in many um, men's weekends with me. And he was also in a men's group with me. And that goes all the way back to like 2002, 2003. Brent is an awesome human being let me say that I'm, I'm really fortunate that he's in my life um, you know some of the stuff we've we've me and my men friends have done um, are called initiation rituals and uh, I was there uh, witnessing uh, Brent go through a, one, one of these initiation rituals and the first one that he had gone through that I had seen and he came out the other side with a presence that was it took your breath away he looked he was like a god man he was just like a little Buddha he was like it was un, it was just unbelievable and uh, and that's the kind of energy he holds the thing I wanted to say about Brent though that's uh, I notice is he's such a good listener he's like if you talk to Brent he's there with you he doesn't get distracted much and if you're talking to a group um, 
and you look at Brent, he's always there, like nodding his head, smiling if he's if he th if he's getting it or um, whatever. You, you can read his face, and and you get that he's with you, and that's so valuable. A lot of uh, people, you look at them when you're talking to them, and you can tell just the next thoughts rattling around in their head as to what they want to say next, and they're not really there with you. They're not getting you. Um, that's not the case with Brent. He's always there. And, um, you know, he's one of the really two, guy, two, two main guys that if I really need to say, vent, you know, I'm really upset, I'm really angry, something happened, he's one of the two guys that I will call. And <laughs> let's see my most vulnerable, uh, ugly self. Um, And I'm also happy he seems to have experienced some kind of a breakthrough in the last few weeks, which has him in a really amazing uh, place. Um, he just seems happy and content. So that's, that's great. Let's see, what else about my friend Brent? Well, Brent, if you ever watch this, I invite you to do this. I think you'll dig it.